This is Twit. In, re- in regards to marking calendars, a very important date happened for us Android developers back in May 2017. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember the exact date. I remember being in the audience when Stephanie Cuthbertson, then director of Android, announced official support for Kotlin as an Android development language. And this week, Google celebrating it. They've got their hashtag high five Kotlin on Android. And they're just taking time to celebrate and I guess look back on five years of having Kotlin be a first party development language for Android. And for those of us in the community, especially those of us that love Kotlin, it's it's been it's been a really it's been all uphill from that announcement, which I have to admit was my top three most exciting hype things at, at Google I.O. that I've announced. I think material design is still kind of like two or three because I was getting really tired of being a dev that kept having to defend quote Android design and now we you know yep. then material got design got announced and it was awesome but I think Kotlin was one thing that made us all stand up and as part of the celebration the Android developers are kind of you know, talking to a lot of the community both people in the community like former guests in the show uh, Anise Davis over at Meetup uh, my very good friend who I'm trying to get on the show Christina Lee over at Pinterest people that were around and and kind of telling the story of it. Actually, Christina is a really good example because she was the first person that I saw use Kotlin, I think like March, like 2016. And I think, you know, the Kotlin language thing is a very, you know, very Devi story, but I think what's really interesting and is is a compliment to Google is that the adoption of this new language was totally driven by the community. So people like my friend Christina were using it and, there is, you know, uh, there's a really famous dev in the Android community. His name is Jake Wharton. If you've done any Android development, you probably know Jake. You might think of him as the Android Messiah. Sometimes I recall that. But he actually wrote a document for Square where he works that was basically this, this internal document that explained in 2015, two years before Kotlin became adopted, you know, why is Kotlin great as a language? Why it makes sense from an engineering perspective, productivity, business, all of this. It got circulated internally, he made it public. And from this, and not just Jake, but a lot of people in the community, like adopting it, being enthusiastic for it. And to a lot of credit, the people that make Kotlin JetBrains from their like whole philosophy of being pragmatic, but also interoperable, trying to make this JVM language, this Java virtual machine language, easy to for people to pick up. Between that and the love that the community had for it, Android actually listened and that's how we got Kotlin. So it's actually pretty amazing for a developer story for you know, for not just any old feature, but for a whole language to be adopted by a platform and because of like developer like desires. So it's kind of a big story. It doesn't happen that often. And Kotlin's an amazing language. So I, I think it's really cool. And I think it is worth celebrating. I think generally um, I'm pretty fluffy, Kool-Aid drinking uh, Android dev. And I, I generally feel that the Android development team tends to listen to us. And this is just one of those great stories. And and to be truthful, it Kotlin does make our jobs easier so hopefully it makes all the android faithfuls experiences a little easier yeah. in part a lot of things are written in kotlin now just like like for example jetpack and pose which are talking about too much too freaking much but yeah, so anyway, <laughs> drink <laughs> the drink drink every time win says jetpack and pose jetpack and pose that's the, that's the new drinking game there you go so. drink um but it's a really interesting story uh if you are a dev if you're an android dev in particular but if you're just a person that likes understanding technology, I would definitely kind of pay attention to some of the buzz, but also listen to the 2018 Kotlin Kotlin Conf, which is the kind of official JetBrains Kotlin conference, and listen to Andre Breslov talk about the language. I think when any new thing, whether it's a programming language, a device, a platform is adopted, it, it it's a lot of factors, not just technology, not just how cool it is, not just, you know, how advanced it is, but the approach and the way that the person who builds that thing introduces it to other people. And I think uh, it's a really interesting analysis of on like pragmatism and like not just being cool, but how what's the realistic way that people will adopt this uh, thing. And like, I think I just as a technical talk, it's a really great one about kind of all the different things that make Kotlin why 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 do devs talk about Colin so freaking much? And I think it's a great yeah. um, talk. So anyway, if, if you're into technical stuff, definitely listen to that. And uh, yeah, if you get a chance to use Colin and to my Android fam, happy five years of Colin on Android. Sorry, I'll show Well, you yeah, that. well, so I, I gotta say, I remember <laughs> when, Co- I remember five years ago when Kotlin was like all the rage, right? When it was new, mm-hmm. when it was a new topic um, and understanding what it meant for developers and things like that. But we went really fast. I mean, so you said, so your friend Christina posted uh, uh, on it. So Christina said on Twitter, the decision by Google to add support for Kotlin, I think we underestimated 
underestimate how wild of a notion that was at the time. The odds of another company that size making a similar decision based on community support and enthusiasm is very low. Right. And so like when that tells the story right there where it's like mm -hmm. the developers said we want this and the fact yeah. that Google like listened and adopted them honestly is kind of crazy. Like that doesn't really happen in these large of companies, um, you know, and it's great to see uh, Anise, da uh, Anise Davis from Meetup, who friend of the show has been on the show mm -hmm. also, you know, kind of touting what was said, you know, and she said on Twitter, um, she said, can't, you know, Kotlin has brought both joy to our engineers as well as increased efficiency to our development process, right? Yeah. Um, and I, I do think that this little like celebration of five years on Kotlin is like kudos to Android developers for like calling it out and like celebrating it. <laughs> and like, because this also drives awareness of people of what it is and how it, how it uh, you know, is fueling the apps that we all use. So, you know, so when I'm just curious to kind of what, like as a developer, do you feel as if, you, I mean, obviously I know the answer cause you love Jetpack Compose, but like <laughs> th this, this is in your, in your experience, this has made you a better developer, has made Android development better. Like overall has this like, this was the right move? Absolutely. And I, yeah. I like to think of it as, um, I, I think it has made me a better developer. And I'm, I was actually in the shower thinking about this, like, oh, like, how can I like explain like why Kotlin is so important? And if like, I don't know, like, if you think like back in the day, right, like think of, I don't know, like a Greek, sorry, this is going to go really weird, but like think of people that <laughs> think of like back in ancient Greek times when they would make sculptures like David's and, and like the Nikes, right? People were able to do amazing things, but without the technology that we have today, and of course, you know, making beautiful, making useful, making durable things is a lot about skill, but the level to which you can like express yourself, the level to which you can build, the, the level of durability with which you can build something and the, and the speed at which you can do it increases with the tooling. And so that's what Kotlin is for developers. A bad developer will still write bad software, but a good developer will write, write good software and with tools like Kotlin and things like it, we can write it faster and we can write it better and we can focus on important details and not not on less important things so like i don't know like instead of having say like a i i don't know anything about sculpture i'm very sorry so instead of having what i imagine is like a pick and a chisel imagine you had like a laser cutter or like 3d imaging or you had like digital calipers that allowed you to kind of measure down to a nanometer the person's talent and experience and training still matters but you can really make them fly faster and farther if you give them the right tool so that's what kotlin is and also just the way that kotlin is it allows us to focus on kind of more important things which also include you know reducing bugs which is really important to everybody and building software that is a lot more scalable and maintainable which again are boring words but really mean a lot is it is really boring until the day that your service goes down and you need to fix it uh and there are a lot of things that go into that, but Colin is a big thing. It has definitely made me a better developer. I'm able to focus on more high level things and it's just more fun to write. Like it makes, it's hard to describe why, if you're not a developer, why a language can be fun. Um, but yeah. it's like, I don't know. It's like telling a person who, I don't know, like, it's like, it's like a, it's like, I mean, I guess it's like a band, right? Like the, you know, it's like having more instruments and more like, I don't know, notes to sing or something, or I don't know, just more adding like, I don't know, reverb or something. I don't know. There's just, there's, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, just, like, it's it a level a, up. It's, it's, it's a, a level, level up. up right? Thank you. Yeah. That's a better yeah. way of saying it. So yeah, it definitely has. And I think um, it, it every, people get really nerdy about it and it's still constantly progressing. I think something that happens a lot, especially with um, tech is that things get stale. Uh, there's always this joke in like programming circles about there's probably someone out there making like 300 grand a year writing Fortran or something. And that's actually a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what, what's really fun is when you are able to do cool things and you are able to do it quickly and easily and experiment. And I think sometimes, especially in software uh, where innovation is not as flashy as say hardware innovation, uh, right. it's, it's hard to find things that make it fun and Kotlin makes it fun. And it's, it's a hard thing to like 
show on the front end but believe us we're all having a good time back here behind the keyboard so yeah. well so it's it sounds like you android developers should have done a little quote tweet from you where you said kotlin makes innovation <laughs> fun because like that's a slogan if i ever heard one so uh yeah <laughs> i appreciate it but yeah, yeah. i appreciate y'all letting me talk about this it is something yeah. that's important and it's it, it like, like if you see the, I think, for example, a uh, friend of the show, Florina Mutinescu and other developers on the Android team were themselves very excited about Kotlin. Mm. And you kind of think of like a big company like Google having very strict standards and very like super processes about how you're supposed to do things. And then and while I assume that's true, there were so many people who were excited about Kotlin within the Android team. They, they, they were part of it too. Like they're, yeah. I mean, they're devs just like us. And so they saw a thing, it was like, hey, let's help make this happen. And so, it has went from this kind of hobbyist, like 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 uh, kind of trendy thing to, you know, this is our commitment. Actually, Kotlin is now the recommended language that you write Android in, which is again, insane. And Crazy. you can tell like the commitment that the team has to writing Kotlin first and Kotlin only APIs, which is insane uh, to think about five years ago. So yeah, it's it's a wild ride. And this kind of stuff doesn't, I don't, you don't hear many stories like this in developer world, well, at least I haven't. So well, cool. Yeah. Well, so yeah. happy, happy birthday, Kotlin, Google adoption, <laughs> anniversary date, uh, whatever the milestone is, five years. I can't believe yes. it's been five years because I remember when I was talking about it for the first time and like ha ha Jason and I have a conversation like, what is Kotlin? And like, I, I'm pretty sure Gina was on the show at the time, maybe. Or, yes. Or, yeah. It might have been post Gina. But yeah, but um, but yeah, just really, really fascinating. So uh, happy birthday, Kotlin and Google. Good job there.